Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So we have another American talent, another American champion now in Raymond Ford. He just won a very impressive come-from-behind win over the favorite, an undefeated Uzbekistan fighter by the name of Odebek Kamatov. This was an extremely competitive fight. The Uzbekistan fighter, his best weapon, or one of his best weapons, was his foot movement. He would dart in and out the way Dimitri Bivol does. But eventually, Raymond, he started to catch up with him, tracking him down with his jab, and eventually he would get close enough to where he can land uppercuts and hooks and start to break him down slowly but surely. But Odebeck, he was still in the fight, and he was still winning rounds. He was still throwing a lot of punches, and I believe the judges, two of the judges, had him up on the scorecards winning the fight going into the last round. This just goes to show you, you have to fight all the way to the end. And that's the way Raymond Ford won this fight. And that right there is the exact reason why Devin Haney beat Lomachenko and Lomachenko lost. Because Lomachenko, he didn't have enough energy for whatever reason to fight in the 12th round. And Devin Haney, he ended up fighting the 12th round like it was the first round. Something he always does in all of his fights, by the way. He showed he wanted it more. He fought all the way into the end. And that's exactly what Raymond did in this fight. Raymond is now the WBA featherweight champion, but he did say he doesn't believe he put on his best performance because of the weight cut. He said his legs felt weak, so he's moving up to 130. Now, and I'm gonna be brutally honest and tell you guys, because there's so much talent when it comes to America. America produces the most talented fighters in the sport. With that being said, Raymond Ford, he's a good fighter, but if I'm comparing them to a shoe shoe, if I'm comparing them to a Abdullah Mason, a Carmel Moten, a Ammo Williams, I think that he's a little bit lower on that list. I don't believe he has the ability to adjust as well as some of those fighters do. Maybe it had a little something to do with him fighting at 126 and draining himself. We'll see. But he's going to have to clean up his defense and improve on his offense, his ability to adjust. He has to be more versatile. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling and inflammation and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Fellas, I've got some great news for you. If you've lost your hair or have a receding hairline, the time has come when you can finally get your hairline back through a process called scalp micropigmentation. So here's how it works. It's a hair tattoo that replicates the look of your hair follicles when you have fully shaved it down. So to get this hookup, make sure you follow and contact my man Scalp Carolinas on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs and defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.